Right, time for another video. Uh, this is a site I've been doing on and off for quite a while. Uh, we have been putting the batter tracks in, but uh, in between our visits, you get the uh, the other diggers who like to jump in your hole and have an easy job of your hard work. That's how digging goes. You've got to take it as a compliment that uh, people let you do hard work because they think you can anyway. That's besides the point. So, cleared out start of a batter track. Um, tip here, two different ages. Got a clear dividing line. Just there, there's a black line. See? It's about as obvious as it can be. Below that, it's about 1905, 1910. And then there's about a 10, 15 years gap to the stuff above. That red stuff there and upwards. That's after uh, First World War. Uh, so it's totally different stuff, but both interesting enough to keep you going. It's kind of a double, uh, it's like a double dig. You've got a uh, 20 year gap almost in between it, so carry on. Let's see what we can get. Right, first bottle out worth showing. It's an Austin Craven, it's a small size, nice pictorial green beer or pop, whatever it was, I think it would be. Um, that's definitely come out of the moderner stuff at top. It's a moderner looking bottle to me. I did find it in loose soil so it would have been hard to tell, but uh, either way, it's still a nice bottle. A few more bits coming out, uh, that's Matthews Middleton, pretty boring bottle on that side, but on that side is the uh, Barrett and Ellis trademark with the, uh, what's the patented internal screw thread. Makes it a bit more interesting bottle, um, also one of these, general terms we call them more dolls, uh, they're actually toothpaste or tooth powder containers. Just a bit different that one. I doubt you'll pick it out but what it says is the flask it says flask painted patented which is slightly different. Still rather a pot lid like but right. it's got to about dinner time halfway through there a bit less, depends how long I stay. About 14 foot down there. Uh, tread, st tread, a steady trickle of uh, stuff. Um, pictorial beers really. Uh, can live with them. Nice green glass. Pictorial beers. Uh, more the same but in aqua. 
So yeah, keep going, plod away, take it out barra by barra and hopefully we'll get a bit of quality to go with Mullock. A few more bits trickling out, uh, almost worth having. Um, the plum trees meet first pot, quite a few of them on here. And uh, Manchester Brewery Spirit Merchants, Hardwick, Manchester. It's a bit sick like, but it's out of gear, just need it in more quantity and a bit more quality. First cream at day. Usually get them in large numbers when you get them, so that could help. Pictorial cod, Fletcher Alt. Uh, Swales and Co. Naval Brewery, Manchester. Actually, you'd swear they'd have a old Manchester pictorial beers with na naval and seafaring pictorials. And the one that's a naval brewery actually ain't got old sea, navy or seaworthy. Some more stuff. It's, uh, I'd really like to show you some uh, in the ash shots as it were. But if you can, I don't know if you can see it. It's just they're actually so waterlogged down on bottom at tip. I can't really take the camera down. Uh, it's soggy gloves, shovels and everything. So... But they're firing out thick and fast, that's the main thing. Uh, yeah, it's tunnelling well under, it's waterlogged, I'm probably about 16 foot down, maybe a little bit more. But it really is like digging in porridge, it's absolutely soaking, whether it's been an old pond or it's just marshy ground it's been tipped on, I'm not sure, but it's hard work. Right, I don't know. It's pretty dark down here with it, camera will pick it up, I can see it on camera, but anyway, you can see it looks like it's just marshy ground that this has been tipped on. You can see bottles, they're just laid next to each other, all the way along bottom, but the consistency is just literally like porridge, it's awful, so... <laughs> it's, uh, Broken beer. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's another one. <laughs> Just act it out. So there are those Fletcher Alts with a man on. I think everyone's seen plenty of them, but there's still a cracking beer. There's <laughs> more next to it, I can see. It's just impossible to film it down here, uh, my camera won't last long. Oh, it's a nice sight, uh, ginger beer popping out. Uh, trouble is, these Manchester ones are like these, is a lot of them are just impressed. Uh, it's one or two, let's have a look. writing on it. West Macott, Manchester. Their beers have a lovely galleon ship, like a galleon trademark. Shame it on ginger beer, but it's, it's alright. Pub Flask, Royal Oak, Cheetah Mill, McLean. Suspect that's landlord or yeah. Right, I think we're going to call it a wrap there. Had a big cave in and uh, a mid attack, a severe mid attack. So, what we got? A few more beers, pictorial, green beers, creams. 
that's that's come out of the layer above that's a moderner one and that was the layer above what we're saying talking about but I didn't get much out of there at all really other than that and uh, sick blue or two um, so yeah not a bad do pack up and uh, make a decision if I'm coming back at another maybe tomorrow